Hi there! This episode I will show you how you can make an extraction from herbs or any plant materials that contains oils like essential oils or any resins that may be residual on the leaves. I'm using coconut oil or coconut fat for this first extraction which yields, uh, I've portionalized it uh, into little droplets of 5 milliliters. It's a solid fat in my part of the world uh, but of course you can also do extraction with liquid oils uh, which works a little bit different and I will explain to you in the end. Uh, the idea of doing this, the extraction from herbs for instance, is that Let's say you have a lot of oregano in your garden and you want to capture it somehow because it is too much and it's the end of the season and what are you going to do with it? You can dry it, sure, but you can also choose to directly extract it into an oil of your choosing or a fat. So this is what you start with and at the end you will have what I just shown you. First we'll start with coconut fat. Here you see some plant material that I have left. These are flowers just like hop with some leaf materials and they are coated with some resin that is useful and I want to capture that in oil. Plant name is irrelevant right now. We put it all in a big pan or stock, kettle, whatever you call that. The advantage of fresh material is that nothing has yet left as opposed to dry. We add copious amounts of coconut fat then, and some water and that is just to maintain the maximum of 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling temperature of water which is probably in Fahrenheit 25,000 one million or something, I don't know. Um, the first extraction will take place in uh, two to three hours. Secondary extractions can be quicker. Strain it to separate the plant material from the liquid materials, which is oil and water, and press the plant material as much as possible to get out as much as possible. Once it has cooled down, you can even squeeze it or you use gloves to get as much out of it as possible. Place it in the cold to solidify and then you can cut out the fat and separate it from the water layer. The water layer is to be kept for further extraction because it still contains a lot of materials. Rinse and dry with paper. Now your solid, solidified fat can be stored for further use later. In this case we want to give the fat or oil a heat treatment at some 100 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. It is easy because now you can hear the process going on because CO2, carbon dioxide, will be uh, leaving and you can hear a sound of, of, of the escape of CO2. When that has died down, the process has done. You can portionalize the oil in, uh, for instance, 5 milliliter droplets, freeze it and store it for further use later on. So there you go. This is how you make your own solid fat, coconut fat, with a herbal or plant extract in it. You can also do this, as I said, with liquid oil, 
for instance, sunflower seed oil, which you would use because it is cheap, because you can also use olive oil, but that'd be comparable to coconut oil in price. So you use sunflower seed oil, and then you can make an extract like this. And you may see some sediment here from plant material still, solids you could say. And the process is pretty comparable, except now you're not turning the oil into a solid, but you're turning the water into a solid, ice. So your pan with your layer of oil and uh, a layer of water, you put it in the freezer, you put it outside when it is freezing, and then the oil can be poured off. That simple. Now, keep thinking. Use herbs from the kitchen, for instance, uh, from plants that are edible, and always maintain your personal responsibility. Nobody can think for you when it concerns your own health and safety. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you're looking for a public speaker, I'm available 